Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, it's been a little while since my last video, um, which is mostly down to a lack of progress. Um, when I set the, the channel up, it was more to, to document my own progress with the layout rather than um, to sort of churn out videos every week. Um, and because the it, because the layout's at the stage it's already at, um, and because it's a fairly sort of modest end-to-end -end layout, there's not going to be sort of big weekly updates or anything like that. Um, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to sort of try and put videos together just for the sake of it. Um, so for that reason, they, they may well be a little bit sporadic. Um, but uh, hopefully it's of, of interest to someone. Um, I noticed a few people have subscribed and uh, and commented, um, for which I'm very grateful, and I do appreciate it. Um, in this video, it will be a, a split into two parts, really. Um, just a general update on the, on the layout itself, where... I've only made a small amount of progress, just sort of added little bits here and there, so um, not enough to, to warrant a video on its own. Uh, and then the second part of the video will be on uh, the office building, which I've been constructing, um, which I've made a fair bit of progress on. Um, so without further ado, um, we'll start on one end of the layout and I'll, I'll show you the little bits and pieces that I've done. So starting up this end of the layout, um, as you can see the entrance to the to the service shed area here. Um, when I redid the hard standing, um, I was left with a little bit of a gap um, from the filler here where the entrance way is. So I've had to, to sort of refill that in um, and then re, refitted the gates there to the yard, um, which obviously put in, a, in an open position just to add a bit of interest so we could have like vehicles entering or leaving. Um, so that sort of tidied that bit up. Uh, moving over here, I've got a little Pico bus stop that I've painted in red. Yeah, I probably won't keep that, but I'll just put that there uh, just temporarily. And then we've got um, a pile of materials which I've sort of covered in uh, tissue paper and then painted to try and represent um, tarpaulin, which looks okay. It's, um, it's basically there to cover up a bit of uh, a bit of sort of rough um, hard standing underneath, which. It doesn't look particularly great, so I've just sort of put that there to cover that up. Um, we've got a little bit more greenery here. I've sort of started to kind of work on that area, just add in little bits and pieces, add a little bit of colour, try and make it look a bit more interesting. Uh, this area here with the, the little fenced off area, still not quite sure what I'm going to put in there. Um, it'll be some sort of electrical equipment or a, a radio mast or something like that, but um, it's quite a small area, so it's sort of a case of trying to find something that will fit in there and look okay. I've uh, got some point levers there, dummy point levers. Um, I've just made them up out of some scraps I had lying around, little bits of plastic card. Uh, so I've got one on that point and one on that point. Uh, and then in this area here, that square of cardboard is the footprint of a, a nice little building that I've seen from Railway Laser Lines. Um, I think it's listed as a, a pump house, but it's just a small um, laser cut sort of shed type building, which I thought might work quite well in that area, just to add a little bit of a little bit more interest. Um, I'll have to remove the uh, the relay box there and reposition that somewhere, but that's not a problem. Um, so the idea, if, if I do put the building in, I'll probably sort of move it over a bit further that way, somewhere around there. Um, but just have it as like a, a derelict um, sort of shed, and then um, sort of model it with maybe like broken windows, a bit of graffiti, and um, sort of weeds and things growing all over it. But um, yeah, I thought that might might look quite good. Um, here, just as you can see, poking out of the shed, I've got my Hornby Class 58. Um, bought that a few years ago from Model Railway exhibition as a, I think it was advertised as a non-run, it was only about 20 quid. Um, but it, I bought that just because my first ever layout was the Midnight Freight layout, which came with the, the Class 58, so it's a bit of a, um, brings back memories that one. It's my first ever train set. Um, I painted, if you can see, a little bit more detail on the front end there, just to make it look a little bit better, sort of weathered the underside. 
um, removed the coupling, hopefully they were the nasty old big D type ones. Um, as I say, it's a non-runner now, I've, I've taken the gears out, so it's just a free runner, but I just thought it's just something else that can sort of add a bit of appeal to the layout, can just be shunted around. Uh, so that's that. Um, probably the most significant thing up this end is that I've removed, or it's removed itself I should say, um, the office building, which the low relief office building which was there. Um, I had been sort of thinking about removing it and um, doing a bit of work on it anyway, um, just because it, kind of, it it looked alright, it just kind of dominated the, the scene a bit too much really, um, and there wasn't anything else to kind of blend it into the background, so it looked a bit... It, it kind of looked a bit out of place, but as it turned out, the, the glue that I'd used to stick it to the backboard had started to fail anyway, so it was kind of peeling away and needed a bit of work. Um, so I've removed that for the time being. I'm not sure whether I'll, whether I'll sort of do some work on it and put it back, or I've got a couple of other ideas which are to put in a, a low relief um, warehouse, sort of fairly standard kind of thing, um, which I have actually started putting together, but um, I'm not sure if I'll continue with that. Um, it would probably blend into the back scene a little bit better, it wouldn't be quite so dominant, but um, the other idea I had was just to put a, a row of, um, sort of fairly low relief trees and bushes there, uh, just add a bit more greenery because there's not really anywhere on the layout other than sort of that area of undergrowth there where there's much in the way of greenery, so I thought some trees there might might look a bit more interesting, be quite a nice little backdrop to have um, the train sitting in front of it in front of them. Uh, so if we move further along to sort of the central section, um, nothing really changed here. I've added a, a little bit more in the way of sort of like flowers there, which I bought off eBay. Um, just to add a bit more colour, a bit more interest. Uh, there's the Backman 08 there, which I'm currently deciding about whether to weather it or not, or, or whether to attempt to weather it myself, or whether to, to get it done professionally. Um, it's a lovely loco, but uh, obviously being in a pristine EWS livery it doesn't fit in with the sort of the modern image um, it needs to look a lot more sort of worn and tired than that uh, so that's something I'm sort of considering at the moment um, so yeah no progress here really it's all pretty much as it was um, and then as we move along a bit further this is sort of where I've probably made the most progress um, that's where the office building will sit uh, it's not there at the moment as I say I'll I'll do a separate bit on that um, after this. Uh, so I've made a little progress with that. Uh, the road bridge is now complete and now fixed in position. Uh, basically what I needed to do was uh, finish off the road surface and add some road markings and then the, the pavement down the side there. Uh, and then I've also added on that little barrier, which you can't probably can't see very well, but that was made up from some leftover scale model scenery, uh, line side fencing, which I just sort of cut in half, so it's sort of half the height that it was, and then just, um, you can't see the colour very well, it doesn't show up very well, but it was sprayed in a gal uh, zinc spray, and then just kind of weathered down with some black and some lighter greys, just to sort of dull it down a bit, um, so yeah, that's looking quite good now, and then this area here, uh, I just need to sort of start landscaping it, um, it's just going to be kind of a bit of a derelict sort of overgrown area, so there'll be some bushes and weeds and a bit of grass and things like that. Uh, under the bridge there, if you can just see, I've added in some old um, sleepers just to give the impression that this used to be a twin track, um, with one line obviously being removed now, uh, so just another a bit of interest. Um, one of the things I like about this area is obviously being next to a, a bridge, it kind of gives the scope for having lots of junk and kind of litter thrown over the edge of the bridge so maybe some of the sort of cliche items like a, an old bicycle, some traffic cones, and car tyres, things like that just gives me the option to I say, to add in a, a little bit more detail um, just a few little things just to make it look a bit more interesting um, that's pretty much it for the layout itself as I say not a huge amount of progress um, and I'll, I'll show you what I've done with the office building um, after this, um, but yeah, it's just kind of at a stage now where it's just little bits and pieces that need to be sort of added in to complete the scenes. Um, one other thing I have done uh, is these MFA Backman wagons. Um, there's also a couple of 
Hornby Coalfish ones at the front there. Um, I've just painted the interior of them to make them look a little bit, a little bit more realistic. Um, I'll I'll try and put a picture up of what they what they look like as standard. Um, but basically, the, particularly the Backman ones, they're just um, on the inside as standard. They're just painted in the sort of maroon um, paint, the same as the outside, but it's it's very sort of plasticky looking. Um, doesn't look very realistic and there's a few black wagons in there as well which have a, a different sort of interior so it, was, it all looked a bit kind of mishmashy um, so I've sort of painted them all up to look the same I uh, don't know how well you can see that on the camera but that one probably comes out a bit better um, basically all I did was uh, paint them in uh, burnt umber inside and then sprinkle in some um, I think it's it's either track rust or dark rust um, weathering pigment that I've got and then just kind of spread it around a bit um, wait for it to dry or wait for it to start to dry and then just shake out the excess but it's given quite a nice sort of rusty sort of look and it's can't see it very well on the camera but it's got a sort of like a slightly textured look to it as well so it doesn't just look like sort of flat paint um, so yeah quite pleased with the way that's come out it's given them a nice or sort of uniform look um, I will make up some loads for them at some point so they're not just constantly empty. Um, but yeah, that's one of the other things that I've um, that I've managed to do. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the sort of progress on the main layout. Um, so what I'll do is I will now hand over to myself and uh, show you what I've done with the, the office building construction. So I've made a start on the office building, um, taking inspiration from the, the Backman um, modern office building that's available as well as a, a couple of other scratch builds that I've seen um, sort of people construct. A uh, fairly basic um, design, uh, just a rectangular building, two storeys. Um, initially this was just going to be a sort of mock-up because I've got some, some two millimetre card lying around. Um, ideally I'd, I'd like to get it. Um, laser cut out of MDF but I don't know sort of how expensive that would be. Um, what I might do is just progress with this as far as I can, see how it looks and um, if it looks looks like it's going to be sort of good enough um, quality then I may I may stick with it. Uh, but essentially what we've got um, is sort of two layers of uh, two millimetre card. So if I just take that off there you can see you've got like a, an inner skin and a and an outer skin. Um, my original plan was to to have them as two sort of separate structures so an inner inner structure and an outer structure structure um which i think with um if it was a laser cut from from mdf you'd be able to get it sort of precise enough um for that to work but i think um building it this way you you know cutting it manually with out of out of card it'd be almost impossible to get it that that sort of accurate so i think what i'll do is um stick the inner and the the outer uh, pieces together to sort of form one one um, side uh, and then probably sandwich the the glazing in between and then um, construct sort of window frames door frames uh, things like that um, to fit on it um, but on this the outer piece here this will all be clad in um, uh, plastic card um, sort of brick plastic card uh, and again that sort of indented bit there will, will be brick uh, and then this this section here will be um, what, I'm not sure what they use whether it's like UPVC or something like that um, and then obviously as I say we'll construct window frames uh, this wall here is going to be the end wall which will be sort of facing the back of the layout so I haven't I haven't bothered putting any windows or anything in that uh, this is the 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 end wall will be facing the front of the layout so we've just got a window there and a staircase uh, sorry the fire exit there um i've got a, a staircase that was left over from one of the scale mod scenery um porter cabin kits which um should be just about the right height to to go in there uh, so i'll use that and then on this um sort of rear facing wall uh, again we've got six windows and then two smaller windows which will be where the the staircase would be from up to the first floor. Um, so once I've got the main sort of outer structure put together and sort of make, make sure it's all square, I can then 
kind of work on the in, in the interior. Um, I'm not sure how much detail I'll, I'll go to yet. I'll probably construct a sort of a basic interior at least, even if I if I don't go too far with it. Um, and potentially put some lighting in there as well. Um, so the next stage at the moment will be I want to get the the interior walls uh, painted just because I think it will be easier to do that before it's all uh, put together and then also just put mount some supports in there for the for the first floor uh, and then I just need to put the glazing in which will be I'm just going to use some of the sort of clear plastic um, like blister pack stuff that you buy sort of various products in I'm sure I've got some of that lying around somewhere um, and then I can I can glue the the inner and the outer skins together uh, and from there I can obviously create the the main uh, structure uh, and then once that's done I can sort of start working on the interior um, and also the the exterior um, I, I can get kind of that far without actually having to to purchase anything um, so I, I, I can sort of go that far and then kind of see how it's working out if it if it looks like it's not going to be sort of good enough quality um, then I may um, just use it as a, as a mock-up just to get an idea of um, an idea of how it's going to fit into the space and how it's going to look and then sort of look for an alternative way of, of constructing it but once it's all sort of finished off with the like the plastic card um, brick sheeting it'll obviously neaten up any of the edges on the windows and things that aren't quite sort of perfectly square but I mean I will sort of tidy them up a little bit anyway um, but uh, yeah it will, it will certainly at the very least give me a good idea of, um, of how it's going to look um, so yeah, I'll uh, get on with the next stage, which I say will be to sort of paint the interior walls and um, sort out the glazing, get it stuck together, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be be, be back with a, a slightly more sort of permanent building-looking shape. So I've made a little bit more progress with the building. Um, at the moment, it's just obviously stuck together with uh, masking tape, just to get an idea of of how it will look. Um, but the glazing I've put in just using clear acetate sheet which I had lying around um, it's just kind of tacked in place with a, in the corners with a little bit of glue because once the uh, the inner and the outer skins are sandwiched together obviously that will hold it firmly um, and then we've got a little fire exit on the uh, on the side there which I've just painted in a sort of really vibrant blue colour um, which is probably what I'll use for the uh, for the UPVC panels or whatever they are there um quite pleased with the way it's looking at the moment. Um I say a little bit rough around the edges but all of the all of the surfaces will be covered in brick plastic card or various um materials which will neaten it all off. Uh, we've got um if I just tidy up to paint the inside in white just for now. Um just to sort of clean it up a little bit. Um got supports in there for the, the first floor on the roof. Um what we'll probably do is the the ground floor we'll divide it up into sort of two office spaces and then in the centre here obviously we've got the the main entrance which would be sort of like a reception area and then the staircase at the back there so hence why I've got the two the two smaller windows. Uh, the roof construction would just be a fairly standard flat roof. I've not actually um sort of planned that yet but I've got an idea in my head at least what I want it to look like. Um, the only other thing I have done as well, I mentioned earlier, I've got a, a leftover staircase to use as a fire exit, uh, which is from one of the scale model scenery kits, which I've just um, put together and sort of painted in like a gal spray, so that will go on the side there. Oops. Uh, just a little bit extra detail. Um, so yeah, at the moment it's sort of it's starting to take shape. Um, Starting to look the way I want it to look, so I think I'll uh, I will press ahead for the time being because I say it's, it's it's been constructed out of materials that I had lying around. I haven't actually had to buy anything for it. The only thing really I need is the the plastic card, uh, brick embossed plastic card sheets, which I'll need anyway, regardless of of which way I end up constructing it. Um, and obviously once things like that have started to start to be added, it will it will sort of neaten it up and make it look a bit more professional. But the uh, the basic idea. Um, seems to be working. Uh, seems to look okay. I've got, I've got an idea in my head now of what it will what it will look like when it's finished. So 
Um, yeah, now I can sort of move on to kind of fixing it all together a bit more um, permanently. Uh, and then we can get it all to lay out and uh, see what it looks like there. Okay, so um, probably about a couple of weeks now since I started making this video. Um, I've just sort of been doing bits and pieces um, as and when, so I haven't actually uh, filmed any of the any of the work that I've been doing. So I've just been sort of spending 10-15 minutes here and there um, working on it. Um, but the, the main base has been put together. Um, we've got a floor in there which I've painted in sort of a, a bluey colour to kind of represent like a sort of carpet tiles and then the, the centre area which will be obviously like a reception area. Uh, we've got got some in, internal walls as well. Put those there. I'll, I'll put them all in place and show you what it looks like once they're all in. Uh, we've also got the first floor which will sit in the other way around. So we'll sit in there like that. And then lastly I've made the, the roof which it won't sit in place at the moment but we've got this around here and then obviously the, that roof will sit inside there. And then one, one other thing which I have done as well actually is the, the internal staircase uh, which is just made out of card uh, and obviously that will then sit in the centre. Um, so what I'll do now is just uh, mock it all up with the, um, the internal walls and everything uh, and then you can see what the, the interior looks like. Uh, so that's what it looks like with the interior in place. Obviously you can't really see the, the ground floor but you can see the staircase there. Uh, sort of landing and then the two internal walls separating the two the two rooms. Um, I'll just put, um, get some uh, sort of furniture, office furniture to to fill to fill the space. Um, I think scale model scenery do a do a do a kit um, which should fill that up nicely. Um, Probably put some lighting in there as well, just so that it highlights the detail when, when it's dark, because you won't see an awful lot, I don't think, through the windows uh, once it's on the layout. Um, and then if I can, I'll just try and um, pop the roof on if it will stay in the place. So the roof, I won't try and force it into place, but that will sit slightly recessed. Um, once it's fully fitted and then I'll, I'll add sort of some, some guttering around the edges and then obviously the, uh, the outer walls have got to be clad in the, the brick plastic card which will be the final the final thing which should sort of bring it all together. Um, but yeah, so far it's, uh, it's looking okay. Um, it'll be good to kind of press on and get it finished and get it on the layout because it's probably one of the main um, sort of remaining structures that I need to need to finish off. and. Uh, it should look quite good once it's once it's all done. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll hopefully be back fairly soon with a bit more progress on the layout. Thank you very much to everyone that subscribed. If you're new to the channel, please do uh, consider subscribing and uh, drop any comments in the in the section below. And I'll hopefully catch you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.